if you have a good understanding of what the structure of an argument is, if you have no problem grasping the concept of premise and conclusion, then we can proceed to the definition of what a fallacy is. In order to do that, we have to define the concept of validity and to make the distinction between validity and soundness. In logic, we don't use the concept of valid argument as the same way we do in everyday life. An argument is valid if and only if the conclusion derives from its premises, regardless of whether these premises are true or not. Let me give you an example of such an argument. The symptoms of the coronavirus are close to the ones of the flu. It is not reasonable to lock down an entire country for disease with flu-like symptoms. Therefore, it is not reasonable to lock down the country for the coronavirus. So, when we look at this argument, can we say that the conclusion derives from the premises? Yes, we sure can. It is a perfectly valid argument. The conclusion derives from the premises. Is it a sound argument, however? Well, this is open to debate, because the premises need to be true for the argument to be sound. Let's take the first premise. The symptoms of the coronavirus are close to the ones of the flu. Well, maybe for most young people, yeah. But most certainly not for a significant proportion of elderly people. So we can say the first premise is untrue. We, can, we, we could also argue that the second premise is not true either. If we could have done something to avoid um, the flu over and over again each year, maybe it would have been reasonable to, to impose a month lockdown at some point in the past during the Spanish flu. So it is a valid argument, but I'm not sure it's a sound argument. To sum up, an argument is sound if on the one hand it is valid, and if on the other hand the premises are true. If we see those two arguments, on the left, the premises are false. On the right, they are true. Both arguments are valid, because the conclusion derives from the premises. But only the, arg the right argument is sound. In other words, valid arguments are a subcategory of s sound arguments, which is the reason why I represented them that way. A logical fallacy corresponds to an invalid argument when the conclusion does not follow from the premises. So be careful about that. An argument may not be sound because one or more premises are false, but it doesn't mean it is a fallacy. Fallacies only correspond to invalid arguments where the structure is wrong. By the way, it does not matter whether the conclusion is true or not. Even if the conclusion is true, if it does not derive from the premises, it is still a logical fallacy. I can show you this argument where both the premises and the conclusion are true, and still the argument is fallacious, invalid, because the conclusion does not derive from the premises. By the way, fallacies are sometimes referred to as non sequitur, which means in Latin, does not follow. So if you see somewhere non sequitur, it means that you are uh, looking at a fallacy. If you stumble upon this word now, you know what it means. There are countless types of fallacies. And now that you have a better understanding of what it means, I suggest that you try to understand the difference between formal and informal fallacies. Fallacies in deductive reasoning or deductive arguments versus fallacies in other types of arguments, such as inductive arguments, and so on and so forth. You see, this is just the beginning. Now you can start exploring the vast and diverse world of fallacious reasoning.